Hi, I'm Kai Hensel and this is our study on the discrepancies of guidelines and reality in children with undescended testes. Philip will now let you know about the details and insights from the biggest German cohort so far. Philip, what's the problem with undescended testes? Undescended testes, also referred to as cryptorchidism, is the most common surgical issue in pediatric urology and a significant risk factor for malignancy and subfertility. In contrast, successful treatment reduces the risk of malignant degeneration and improves fertility. Therefore, current clinical guidelines recommend orchidopexy during the first year of life. However, this seems not to be implemented in practice. The aim of the study was to assess the implementation of the current guideline and to identify potential underlying causes for late surgery in children with undescended testes in Germany. To do this, we investigated the biggest German cohort that has been described until today. We studied 5,547 patients surgically treated for cryptorchidism at 16 hospitals nationwide between 2003 and 2016 regarding their age at orchidopexy. So what is the proportion of early orchidopexy in this study? The percentage of early orchidopexy in undescended testes is rising but at low level. Between 2003 and 2008, only 4% of children with undescended testes underwent surgery before age 1. After the guideline update from 2009, 5% were operated on their first year of life between 2010 and 2012. And, finally, 8% between 2013 and 2016. In other words, more than 90% were operated after the first year of life. Interestingly, the presence of a specialized department for pediatric surgery, as well as a high number of treated cases per hospital, positively influenced the timing of surgery. Could the doctor's level of knowledge play a role for the high number of late surgeries? We therefore conducted a survey in 926 physicians that treat children and final year medical students. It revealed discipline specific differences in the level of knowledge about undescended testis management. While urologists, pediatricians and pediatric surgeons appear to have a good level of undescended testis related knowledge, non-primarily children treating specialists were less aware of up-to-date guideline recommendations. One third of respondents did not know the guideline recommendations. Altogether, 61% felt insufficiently informed. How does the timing of operative management for undescended testes look like around the world? We undertook international comparisons of age at orchidopexy. This revealed significant differences in the timing of surgery for children with undescended testes, with Germany and Great Britain ranging in the middle of the field. So what can we learn from this study? Currently, only a small share of patients with undescended testes are operated on during their first year of life. The level of knowledge in attending physician remains a need for improvement. This should be actively addressed, for example by campaigns and educational programs. Further studies are also needed to investigate the underlying cause of late orthopexy in undescended testes. Thank you, Philip.